Hey, what's up, host families? Yes, you heard that correctly. This video is all about you, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you the eight best Skype tips for when you eventually interview your potential au pair. Let's get into it. So no more crying videos, I promise. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in my previous video, I said my final goodbye to my host kids and it's quite an emotional one. If you would like to see that, click the link up here or link down in the description. But let's get onto the video you came here for. First and foremost, and yes, I'm going to be putting all this pressure on you, but you have to be the ones to make the all pair feel comfortable. They are gonna be dying inside, not knowing what to expect, and especially so if English isn't their first language. They are going to be extremely nervous, so just take it easy on them. Start everything with a smile, be cool, calm, and collected, and everything will go smoothly from there. Keep your first Skype interview just between you, the host parents, and the au pair. If things are going really smoothly with like the conversation and the whole Skype call, and you've been speaking for a while, and you, you feel up to it, then definitely bring in the kids. But I would say bring the kids in on like the second Skype call or maybe even the third Skype call. You don't want to be introducing your kids to every single au pair. Read through the potential au pair's full profile and before your Skype interview, make a list of profile specific questions such as, can you please elaborate on your driving history or can you please elaborate on your childcare experience? You can have some generic type questions like, What's your family like? What's it like where you live? Do you have any hobbies? So on and so forth. My next video is going to be about the best Skype interview questions host families should ask or pairs during this whole Skype interview process. So if you don't wanna miss that video, I would definitely hit subscribe with the bell notification so that you'll be notified when I upload the video next week. For the more organized host families, which all host families should be reasonably organized, especially when it comes to this whole au pair program and also because you have kids. You should be organized because you have kids. I would suggest that for each Skype call, you have different questions. So that's basically going from your generic type questions that are also a little bit profile specific. And if the au pair makes it to the next step, the next Skype call, then they have more intriguing questions. So tip number four is that you need to be prepared for questions that the au pair will ask you because all of the au pairs that watch my videos, they've already seen the video, link up here and link down in the description of the best questions that I've told them to ask you, the host family. So if you're smart, I would suggest watching that video so that you can be prepared for the questions that they will ask you. You need to be honest during your Skype interview. It'll be the worst thing in the world for you to say something to the au pair and then by the time they get there to you and get there to your house, whatever you said is not even the case at all. So just be honest during the Skype interview. Don't say something just to entice an au pair to match with you because that'll bring problems down the line and your au pair will more than likely want to go into rematch. You need to remember you're both gonna be in different time zones. They might be seven hours ahead of you. They might be seven hours behind you. So when you decide on making a time for your Skype call, just be considerate towards them because these calls can usually last between 30 minutes to 60 minutes to even 90 minutes long. So make the time of the Skype call one where it suits both parties. Another thing when it comes to the Skype call is that you should have it at your house. Don't have it at your office or your work or whatever because the au pair doesn't care where you work. They want to see where they're going to be living, what your house looks like. And preferably you should show them what their room is going to look like because the au pair room is a very exciting part of this whole process. You need to get to know your au pair. This isn't going to be just some employee. This is going to be your new roommate, your kid's new best friend. In a lot of cases, the host family's new best friend. So get to know them. This will gradually happen with time, with subsequent emails, back and forth between the au pair and the host family. And then the other Skype calls that you're more than likely going to have, I suggest at least three so that you can really get to know each other. But... Like I said, you're going to be living with this person. You need to get to know them. Take an interest in them. They are not just an employee. My final tip for you would be you need to be patient with your au pair. This is going to be a conversation that they're having in English, which is more than likely not going to be their first language. It's probably their maybe second language or third language. So be a little bit patient with them. They're going to mess up. They're, there's going to be times where they don't necessarily know how to articulate what they want to say especially from their native tongue into English. So 
try and help them out, try and get them to say it maybe in a different way if there's something that you don't understand, but just be patient with them. So that's all the tips I have for you today, host families. I hope you appreciate this video made specifically for you because as I looked on YouTube, there's pretty much nothing regarding this topic. So I am honored to be the first to do it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I will really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you aren't already, especially if you want to see next week's video about the best questions to ask your au pair. But I hope you have a great week. And until next week, when I see you again, have a good one. Bye. But I would rather keep the... Keep... <laughs> I wasn't even recording. Better to be prepared. Better prepared. Better prepared. Better prepared. Am I being focused, Joe? I don't know. Am I? Better be focused on camera. You need to be prepared. Mm. And not exactly know how to put into words what, like, exactly what it is. Like, I can't even speak right now. For your Skype interview with your potential au pair. I think I just spat. Sorry. Roll the outro.